exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. In this example, we're going to take an inflatable Zodiac boat, which has already been flattened in our 3D to 2D flattening environment. And we're going to go through a process of doing basic pattern engineering. To do this, we click on our view pattern environment. I'm going to start the timer here. And we're going to primarily be using our seam tool. And there's two types of edges we're going to, we're going to uh, put on here. One will be uh, edges that have a, a mate that we're going to use auto add mate as you can see we're doing right now. I'm just going to click OK there. And the second type is where there is no mate where we're just going to add a seam. So we click auto add mate, we click the edge, the primary edge, and when the primary edge is selected the corresponding mated edge is also highlighted. We select the seam allowance that is desired, in this case 0.75 inches, and we click OK and that's it and we repeat the process. So here we are. These are the side uh, inflatable sections of the of the boat that we're doing right now. And um, you can see it's a pretty straightforward process. Auto add mate, click the primary edge, the mated edge becomes highlighted. We select from our seam properties click OK and we're done. Now I'll just take a, a moment to talk about the seam properties. The seam properties are actually attributes which are pulled from a database. Exact Flat for SolidWorks is a database driven application and what we've done is we've uh, made many of the features manifest in uh, a, a database and so the definitions of the feature, for example seam allowance in this case, say the 0.75 inches that we're clicking on right now, are values derived from a database. The values are editable and they are configurable along company and industry standards. So if you're making Zodiac boats, uh, you would have a, a seam allowance or seam offset which is consistent with the type of product you're making. The benefit of doing this is that when we separate the feature from the CAD geometry, if we want to make changes, it is very quick and easy to make changes. If we change this value in the database, then the uh, features or the seam allowance on all of the pieces to which it has been added would also change. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to just go around this piece here, put a seam allowance on here, and then just click on the last uh, two edges here, and um, you can see that we've got eight edges defined there, click on 0.75, and, uh, and OK. And there you have it. And so now uh, the remaining pieces, or some of the remaining pieces, we're not going to have the auto add mate attribute. So on this particular piece here, which is the center rib, this piece would get rolled into a cylindrical form, and it would be the center rib that runs uh, along the, uh, the, the the bottom of this this particular inflatable. You can see that sometimes the uh, the, the seams, uh, you, you do have to zoom in on the seams just to make sure you got it right. The beauty of exact flat is it's all visual and intuitive and you can see uh, with visual feedback what is happening along the way here. Um, that just helps design quality, design productivity, design speed and uh, there's the last edge selected there and now we're just going to go over to our seam tool. Oh, we got a little piece we gotta just extend. There we go. And the last edge Okay, now we are ready to actually define the seam itself. So let's go down here to our seam properties, click the seam type 0.75 inches and OK, and we're done. So that's um, a, a, a flavor for it. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit more. I, I don't know if we're going to finish the whole, uh, all the patterning here. I just want to make sure that there's a representative sample so that you can see exactly how this is done. It's very straightforward. Um, the, the feedback is immediate in terms of when you do add a seam, you, you do get a color-coded reference. You can see these edges here do not have a mate, so they are just um, uh, added as, uh, as, as, as single-edge properties. The um, uh, other tools should we decide to use them, for example, there's a seam tool, there's a hem, a bound edge, and a raw edge. They're, they're more or less um, variations on the same basic functionality. 
So a seam would be where uh, one edge meets another edge. A hem, of course, is where an edge would get folded over. Um, and bound edges and raw edges would have their own attributes as well, but it's, it's more or less the same type of uh, attribute, and it functions the same way in terms of uh, pulling values from the exact flat database and assigning those values to the CAD geometry. We're about five minutes in right now, and one of the great things about exact flat is that this is all done within the SOLIDWORKS environment. So you can see that the user interface is consistent with SOLIDWORKS, and um, if you are a SOLIDWORKS user, you already know that the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem in terms of training, support, uh, product updates, um, uh, you know, new features, all that kind of stuff is very robust and very active. And uh, in comparison to other products out there, particularly in the, <clears throat> in the 2D CAD world, where much of this work would be done through 2D CAD packages, uh, often from table manufacturers, um, uh, the ecosystem is just not as active and it's not as robust and you don't have the same talent pool and training resources and, and uh, you know, other things which are important to the business. But given that ExactFlat is in SOLIDWORKS, uh, customers do have this tremendous, tremendous advantage in terms of uh, uh, you know, the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem uh, playing along here. And it's seamlessly integrated. Uh, the, the parts that you can model in SOLIDWORKS, that you can scan into, that you can import, like other, other file types like STEP and IGES, for example, or if you even wanted to start your work in 2D, you could import 2D patterns or 2D sketches and associate your edges um, by uh, uh, manually assigning the edge associations. And there you're done. So I think, um, I think we're probably going to stop there. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, you know, seams on this, and that just gives you a representative sample. This is a Zodiac boat modeled from scratch in SOLIDWORKS. And this has been a demonstration of exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. If anybody has any questions, give us a call or visit us on the web.